What's up everybody? Welcome back. In this question, we're given f of 4 equaling 3, f prime 4 equaling negative 5, and we have to find the exact value of g prime 4, where g of x equals root x times f of x. So we have to find the value of the derivative of g of x at an x value of 4. So let's first find an expression for the derivative of this function that we are given. And notice that this function g of x is the product of two functions. This function, root x, and then this function, f of x. Now, this function, root x, is an actual function. And then this function, f of x, it's not an actual function. It's just given in function notation. But nevertheless, they're both two different functions that we are multiplying. So to find the derivative, of g of x, what we have to do, since it's two functions that are multiplying, we have to apply the product rule. So we take the derivative of the first function. This uh, square root of x, we can rewrite as x to the power of a half. So taking the derivative of that, we bring the half down and then subtract one from the exponent. One half minus one is negative a half. So that's the derivative of the first function. We multiply it by the second function left as is. And then we're going to add the first function left as is, so x to the power of a half, multiplied by the derivative of the second function. And since the second function is just represented as f of x, the derivative of f of x is just f of prime x. So now we have an expression for the derivative of g of x. However, we're finding the derivative of g of x at an x value of 4. So all we have to do at this point is just plug in an x value of 4 for all the x values in the expression that we made. So we got 4 to the power of negative 1 half. And then over here, we got f of 4 plus 4 to the power of a half times f of prime 4. And then notice f of 4, f of prime 4, we are given those values up here. And then these two values we can just figure out algebraically. So 1 half times 4 to the power of negative a half, first off, 4 to the power of a negative a half, that's the same as like 1 over 4 to the power of a half. And then 4 to the power of a half is the same thing as square root of 4, which is just 1 over 2. So 4 to the power of negative a half is 1 over 2. And then we got 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, which would just give us 1 over 4. So we know that this bracket here is 1 over 4. f of 4 we are given as 3. 4 to the power of a half, same thing as the square root of 4, which is just 2. And then f of prime 4 is given as negative 5. So we can just do the algebra now. So 1 over 4 times 3, that's like 1 over 4 times 3 over 1. Multiply the numerator, denominator, that gives us 3 over 4. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. And then to subtract these, we can get a common uh, denominator. So we got 3 over 4 minus 40 over 4, which just gives us negative 37 over 4. And that's our final answer. That's what g prime of 4 is equal to. Right? So we first found a general expression. For the derivative of g of x, we had to use the product rule. We are multiplying two functions. And then once we have the general expression for the derivative, we're finding the value of the derivative at an x value 4. Plug in 4 for all the x values. These two brackets, we can do algebraically. These two brackets, we have to be given those values, and we were given those values in the question. Do all the algebra. Negative 37 over 4 is your final answer.